Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I am talking about basically when your ex um, seems to have moved on really fast and why in this kind of situation you actually have the upper hand. So the thing is, is that when someone goes straight from one relationship to another, so if this is you know, your experience, this is what your ex has done, right? So they have gone from the relationship that they had with you straight into someone else, uh, straight, running straight into someone else's arms. So the thing about this is that they're probably not actually going to get over you that fast because of this actual behavior. It may seem like they've moved on fast, but they actually haven't. It's the exact opposite. They haven't moved on at all, right? So Basically, if you go from one relationship to another like your ex has done, you don't have that time and space to process the end of the relationship. You don't have time to, you know, uh, kind of look back and reflect, see what you did wrong, see what, you know, you may have done wrong. So they might, you know, you need to have that reflection time on the relationship so you can move forward and think of what you do want now, you know, and how you're going to behave in new relationships. Because the case is, if they've gone from one relationship to another, they broke up with you or you broke up with them and they decided to quickly, you know, move in with someone else and um, start being with someone else, they haven't had that time to process it. And no doubt, they are gonna continue being the same person that they've always been. So what's great about breakups, and I think breakups can be really like inner transformative. You know, when you break up with someone, it gives you a chance to become, you know, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. And this is exactly what you can do, right? Because you, unlike her or him, you're gonna have that time to process it. Give yourself a good few months before you start dating anyone else to process it, to work on other things, work on your hobbies, you know, get back into exercise if you haven't done any of that, reconnect with friends, you know, start designing a life, start thinking about your life. Because a breakup gives you a great opportunity to reflect on how you want to live now, you know, how you want to live in the future. You know, how, you know, what can you do? What can you start doing to have the life that you want to be living? Because that's what I, ideally I want for you. You. I want for you to be living a life that you're proud of and happy about. So, you know, you need to kind of have that time after the breakup to think about that sort of thing before you move into a new relationship. So in a way, if you give yourself that break and you don't do the same thing, because the worst thing that you could do is start competing with them on who can move over who can move on from each other faster you know that might maybe the game that your ex is playing they're like i'm going to move on so fast i'm going to move on faster than them you know that's such a weird and horrible way to think about it and it's not it's not healthy at all you do need time you need space to get over that relationship you need time to reassess your life you know because a breakup gives you that opportunity to do so so it's fabulous that in a way that you now have this time to do that. And you're gonna have the upper hand on your ex who's still you know, dragging in those old behaviors, those old toxic patterns. They're not having the time to think about it and process it. And basically they're bringing all of their old baggage from your relationship straight into that new one because they haven't had that space in the middle to kind of sort it out which you now have the blessing and the ability to now do so. You now have the time to process it, have the time to work on other things, meet with your family and friends, you know, reconnect, think about how you want your life to be now moving forward. You know, what are the things that you're going to do to, to start designing that lifestyle, that life that you ultimately want to have. So, and if you see it that way, if you see it as like this new exciting adventure that you're about to embark on and your ex has given you the gift of you know the the a, a new fresh start a new adventure for yourself a new opportunity for yourself and if you kind of see it that way and stop beating about you know start um stop beating you know your yourself and you know beating yourself up and uh, feeling you know horrible about yourself you know don't see it like that don't see it as oh my god they've moved on so fast they don't care about me oh my god they've moved on so fast what well, i need to move on too i need to go and find someone else too no don't see it like that at all this is a gift a gift for you to change to you know to start creating a life that you actually like you know so 
you know, you do now have the upper hand now they've rushed straight into a relationship because you are going to allow yourself to have time to move on, to process, to start creating a better life for yourself, you know, uh, whatever that may be for you. Like for, for some people, it might be, oh, I want to change a career or I want to reconnect with my friends or I want to start all these new hobbies or I want to really work on my health and fitness or I want to start a side business and start earning extra income that my job currently isn't bringing in for me. So I can start living a more abundant life and having more affluence. So, you know, there could be a number of things that, you know, it could be for you. Perhaps you want to be someone who, you know, sits on the beach all day and uh, reading books or something. You know, maybe that's what you want. But if that's what you want, you need to figure out what you need to do to get yourself there and how you can take action on that. Um, as many times as you possibly can throughout your week so you can start living that kind of lifestyle and you know your ex will then regret basically rushing so soon into a new relationship and they will regret breaking up with you perhaps as well because they will look at your life and see that you took your time you're living a great life you look healthy you look happy you look um rejuvenated you're making healthy choices and in you know they that's what's going to that's going to reflect bad, badly back on them because they rushed into it they probably still feel crappy about themselves they're probably in a relationship that isn't good for them because you can't go from one relationship straight into another you know in a healthier way you just can't do that I don't think I don't think there is a healthy way to actually do that because I strongly and truly believe that after you've broken up with someone you need at least six months to just you know get over it and start you know getting momentum back in your life in the right way you know making the right start making the right choices um, and start you know um, you know designing that lifestyle that you want and having a life that you want so ultimately, it may seem like because they've moved on, they have the, hub, the upper hand, but it's actually the complete opposite. You have the upper hand. So don't compete with them to move on faster, to find someone else as well, and to try and, you know, you know race basically down the aisle with someone new or something like that. Because I see a lot of people doing that sort of thing. It's like when, um, let's say, for example, this is something that I've seen. Um, so there was a, a married couple that broke up, so they were ex-husband and wives, and the ex-husband got remarried, right? And then all of a sudden, even though, you know, the ex-wife wasn't really that interested in getting married, wasn't really, you know, they wasn't really interested in pursuing a long-term thing, suddenly, after the, the uh, ex-husband got remarried, she magically became engaged. You know, she found someone to get engaged with right? And it's crazy because it just seems like they're just trying to race each other down the aisle, you know, and try to beat each other. And it's so, 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 so toxic, so bad. And I'm not saying that the, the husband was racing down, down the aisle. In fact, I think he did the most healthy thing, but she was in comp secret competition with him. He made the healthy choice, you know, he had time by himself and then he got remarried. And then all of a sudden the, the ex-wife suddenly got engaged because she saw that he was, you know, moving on. He had, you know, done everything right and she felt inadequate. So therefore she had to rush to, to also get married and stuff like that. So you don't want to be racing each other down the aisle with you know, obviously new partners, you know, but so you need to get that out of your head completely. You have the upper hand if you have time and space. It may hurt that they're, yeah, now sleeping with someone else, hanging out with someone else, you know, making out with someone else. But, you know, you need to let that go and realize what they're doing isn't good for them in the long run at all. And because you're going to have that time and space for yourself, you're actually doing the healthier thing. And that is so, so important and so fun. And just see this opportunity, see this breakup as a gift, see it as a new adventure, see it as a new opportunity, a new lease of life where you can actually start having a life that you want. It's giving you the opportunity, it's giving you the break to focus on other things things you know and when you focus on other things a new relationship will naturally progress and enter your life at some later date um, and it'll happen in a healthy more you know romantic way and it'll seem to you like it was divinely orchestrated right and it's all because you was being more healthy and doing things the right way and not running straight into that new relationship and that is why you now have the upper hand if this is the situation that you are in so thank you so much for watching. If there's anything you would like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments. Um, please let me know your stories and I will react to them and uh, basically give the best advice that I possibly can on those things. So please leave those down in the comments and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye guys.